from 2013 and via Mid-Continent Public Library out of Independence, Missouri, or Continent, I got The Art of Turbo. Hardcover from DreamWorks. So. All right. Oof. So there's the jacket. That's a cool jacket and shit. I like that. Oh. Oof. Dog shit. <laughs> I've seen way better covers. That is so sad. Oh, that is so sad. So, thank you, Mid Cotton and Public Library, for letting me borrow this book. You are awesome for that. Thank you. So, Insight Editions as well. I have seen Turbo. I have. I remember it. Snail wanting to be in the Indy 500 because he's got warp speed. Hmm. 152 pages. Let's see what this bad boy's got. Will it top Final Fantasy Spirits Within an art book? Nope. <laughs> and this is 11 years old. So this is... I don't know. It's interesting to see. It's decade differences in books are fun. fun. <laughs> Fascinating to me. You can definitely see a difference in change and all that, and how animation evolved. Hey, I know that motherfucker. That's Kevin. Yeah, from up. <laughs> now he eats tacos. I have not watched Turbo since it came out. Damn. Oh, we got a spread already. Nice. That is fascinating. That's me. Eh, just whatever. I'm Chet. <laughs> Chet, you betcha. <laughs> oh, Kevin's name is Tito now. <laughs> okay, that works. <laughs> Angelo. Who looks more like Salvador from Borderlands 2. Ah, it's Omni-Man. But it's got Ganya. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool shit. <laughs> Gotta love that shit. That's what I love about animators. Like, they try to get the actual face down. And it's perfect. It's so good. I <laughs> fucking love it. So what do I think of this book so far? It's pretty cool. Paz is cute. Wasn't she voiced by, um... Oh, what the hell was her damn name? Um, shit, I can't think of her name. Michelle Rodriguez. I think she was. Oh, I might be wrong. I enjoy a whole racing skit. This uh, cast. <sighs> the alternative to cars. <sighs> it's pretty nice. I'm gonna have to revisit this movie and give a review on it. But if you don't care for this, you hate DreamWorks, well... I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> the White Shadow. I vaguely remember him. I gotta say, for 2013, they really nailed down body and human faces perfectly. Like for that for that time frame, yeah, they got that shit right. They really did. And they still get it right. It just depends on what you're watching. Do I need this art book? No. Do I enjoy it? Oh definitely. This is beautiful. Holy shit, it's so beautiful. It reminds me of a bug's life as well. 
But this is just so cool. Because it has that homey vibe to it. I actually didn't know this came out in 2013. Oh. Oh, I thought it was 2009, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I really did. Like, see, this is what happens when I, you know, when I find an art book for a movie, and I'm like, wow, okay, so that came out during the height of the MCU and shit. And it goes to show films like these fall right under the fucking rug because nobody gave a shit about them at the time. But yeah, I enjoyed this movie though. This was fun. I know there was a song on the soundtrack I liked too. But I don't remember what the hell it was called. Nice. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, somebody fucked the page up. So, so far, the pages haven't been that bad. That's impressive. Just this back part here has been fucked up. That's not bad at all, man. That's pretty good. All things considering. No, oh, this didn't have a color script in it. That's different. Most of them, most of them usually do. No, it's, that's a good shot. So, I'll be back with one more. Stay tuned.